we didn't know what's going on um, because we never experienced something like this and we um, lay in our car and I thought someone outside is taking taking our our van (laughs) and tries to get in and yeah we were very afraid and two hours later her family called and asked is everything uh, fine with you and there was a big um, earthquake and we are like what oh oh my god (laughs) yeah it was it was really really awkward and I was so afraid I woke her up and said oh my god what's going on (laughs) yeah it was really scary yeah we were in um Nelson Lakes National Park and a, a hostel backpacker there. Um, we felt the, felt the earthquake and kind of our first instinct was to stand in the doorway. Um, it, was, it was shaking. It was shaking for a good 30 to 45 seconds. Um, but it was, it was crazy. <laughs> we didn't, it, was, it was kind of scary. Never had felt anything like that before. And heading to Wellington. We're going to make sure Wellington's okay at the, in the weekend. Yeah, well, actually, we were asleep in our car, as, as usual. Uh, we've been having some quite short nights, and the car is moving. <laughs> so we were so tired, often. so we just yeah, slept through it. We woke up, actually, by a phone call, not um, because of the earthquake, but yeah, because my mom was very worried in Belgium, and she wanted to check if you were okay. Yeah. Uh, the first thing she said like, was, like, you have to move, there's a tsunami alarm. <laughs> but we actually came from yeah. Kaikoura yesterday, so, yeah, yeah we, we went... We went in the right direction, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> we got stuck on the ferry from Wellington. They told us to um, stay in the uh, passenger area, and uh, uh, and uh, eventually they uh, got the news from Picton that they we couldn't board during the night. So we spent the night on the ferry. We weren't planning on using the the roads that are closed, so. We're heading uh, down on the west coast.